it's a challenging um, situation we find ourselves. Um, it's not just affecting only the ordinary Ghanaian, but as members of parliament, we're also being affected and it really affects our ability to go to our, our, our constituencies, our ability you know, to do a lot of things because where we are, I mean, almost close to, to 10 Ghana cities per liter, is, is, is something that has made economic uh, situation of MPs very, very difficult. And we hope that government will do something about it. If, if, if you're hoping, but it does, it does appear as if there's no end inside, it keeps increasing, and if we are hitting uh, beyond nine, the expectation is that it may even go to 12 within this week or something. If, if, if it hits 12, what does this mean for you as an MP, especially coming from where you are from, the Upper West region? How are you going to be surviving it? Yeah, very difficult. And definitely it will affect our work because part of our work is in the constituencies and you have to visit your constituency as many times as you can. But with the rate at which the prices of fuel is increasing, definitely would affect the frequency, it will affect your interaction with your constituents, it will affect economic life in your in your in your uh, in our various constituencies and like I said um, as a country as a government uh, something must be done urgently to make life meaningful for the ordinary Ghanaian and for MPs to also do their work. Will you be forced, will you be forced to abandon your vehicle if you like going by the commercial uh, means in times like this? Um, when we get to the situation where um, you cannot use your V8 you may have to find other means or maybe find other other means of transport that you can cope with because the fuel prices are increasing every other thing including you know um, um, we don't get the, the common fund nothing comes no statutory payments and it's basically your, your salary which you have to share with your constituents so definitely it will affect the ability to use uh, our vehicles which is unfortunate thank you sir thank you. Well, um, first of all, I, I think this is one of the very important topics uh, and challenges facing the country. Uh, but need I say that um, times are tough when it comes to expenses for transportation. And uh, from my small corner, I, I think that we need to, as a nation, all of us readjust. And, and what I mean by readjusting is the fact that uh, we need to carpool. If, for instance, you work with somebody and you're from the same neighborhood, you might as well maybe share the, the, a ride uh, for three days and then you two, you drive for you know two days. So, so those are some of the alternatives. The other alternative is to ride in a smaller car. Uh, so instead of using your SUV or V8 in town, uh, you go down to maybe a Toyota, Corolla, or something of a smaller uh, capacity. And, and these are ways and means. And then we have to limit our runarounds. And, and, and quite frankly, uh, it may not get any better soon uh, with Ukraine, Russia uh, going on. And, and besides Ukraine, Russia, I mean, uh, we were already facing these uh, challenges. Um, so so I, I think that um, for my constituents, I, I, I share their pain. Uh, for everybody in the country, I share their pain. And even the transport industry is also struggling uh, heavily uh, in terms of parts for fixing your car and, and a whole lot of things. And, and if you go into the building industry, then it's even worse. Um, so uh, we are hoping for the best. And, and I really think that naturally all of us need to change one way or the other. And if you're working five days, if management can make you work three days and two days via teleworking, that might be one option. 
So if you don't necessarily need to be physically at work and you can use the internet, <laughs> I'd recommend you do so. And, and, and these are some of the ways in which we can uh, approach our work and, 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 and do well. Um, so in, in simple terms, uh, the, 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 the fuel price hikes uh, are a challenge for everybody in the country. Um, you need fuel or, or even energy for cooking if you're a restaurant owner. And, and, and we are being hit all over. So uh, we need to adjust our lifestyles uh, to meet up with these challenges. Um, I would also commend uh, companies in the energy industry who are helping in terms of refugees uh, and, and, and the likes of um, you know, Shell. And, and I think it's commendable. They are, they are helping, at least. You know, as much as fuel prices are heavy, they are helping. Yeah. Would you be forced to, uh, say, abandon the use of your V8 uh, in, in times like this? It's not an abandonment. I, I just think that I, I would recommend, uh, if it's a town ride, you, you, you go with a smaller car. But I would not necessarily. Your safety is also very important or, or for a long trip. Uh, most of our MPs actually don't work, uh, their constituents are not in Accra and they travel long journeys and then sometimes to the committees make us travel and, and your safety first. Uh, in as much as fuel is expensive, safety uh, should be paramount uh, so that we don't lose any lives. Yeah. Thank you. Managing with it. Thank you. Um, you know, it's not... Uh uh, it's not only Ghana that uh, fuel have gone high. It's a global uh, problem. So we are also just uh, managing it the way everybody is managing it. And we pray and hope that uh, it will come down. How are you able to buy your fuel in times like this? Yes, let's take away the fact that you are a deputy um, gender um, minister, mm -hmm. but then on your own as an MP and then as a private citizen, how are you able to manage it in this time? Well, uh, I buy from my salary that they pay me. So, uh, like yesterday, I, I went to fill my tank because uh, my tank was empty. So I have to go and fill almost a uh, thousand. You your tank in anticipation of no, no. I just fell because my tank was empty. <laughs> you know, so. As it goes, we have to also follow the trend till uh, everything normalizes. I know it will normalize. Would you get to a point where you would have to abandon, if you like, your V8 for a smaller car? Well, in, in other jurisdictions, uh, you know, a lot of people go by train. If uh, we have a lot of trains around, I think a lot of people would have gone uh, with the trains whilst parked to your car. But I don't think so because uh, definitely you need a car to move around. So you have to just bear with it. And I know... A lot of people uh, are not happy with it, but just that uh, it's not our fault. So we have to uh, pray that uh, everything normalizes. So that's fine. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.